How good is this? Nathan Broad from the Mighty Tigers, two-time Premiership player. And, mate, you're all kitted up. You're ready to go. You mean business today. Normally, we start off with a bit of a chat, but I'm a bit intimidated. Uh, not by the look of you, but because you've got your outfit on, you're ready to obviously smash me at FIFA. Is that right? Oh, I don't know about smash you. I'm a bit of a hack myself, but I love my Tottenham Hotspurs, so yes. all, nothing else to do. All right, so we're going to get uh, underway. What are we going to play? We're going to play FIFA. Yeah, we'll get a game of FIFA going, I reckon. Okay, so, and I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to all this. Um, so, there's every chance you're going to wipe me, but anything I need to know? What buttons do I press? So, when, when you're on defence, press square in the penalty box and you should be safe. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to uh, take it away. Shane Crawford taking on Nathan Broad from the Mighty Tigers. Here we go. Good luck. You're yeah. going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a friendly, this isn't friendly, this is war. I tell you what, no AFL footy at the moment, so this is what it comes down to. I'm the Jets. Yep. Uh, what was your um, theory behind choosing the Newcastle Jets against Tottenham Hotspurs? Well, I, I've heard the Jets are a bit of a bogey side for Tottenham. <laughs> no, I wanted to pick an Aussie team, uh, and Newcastle's a good part of the world. Beautiful beaches up there, so I thought, oh, we'll give it a go. How do I defend? Is that you? Oh, that was a bit high. That was like having a shot for goal, <laughs> AFL style. <laughs> I know, I know that, I know that. Oh, what a oh. save. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's all right. That's good. Go, go. Here we go. Pass this way, this way, this way. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Big sweep. Here we go. Create a bit of space, open up, and then Richmond style, just go. Gun ho. Oh, no. Where are you going? Pass, pass, pass. Here we go, here we go, 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 go. Circle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no. Oh. They're going all right, Newcastle, the Jets. Hanging in there. Yeah, full of fight. Hey, what about the soccer players? A lot of them have tattoos, but you've got tattoos as well, hey? Yeah, I've got a couple now, which is... Um, a couple. I don't seem to think it's a Richmond thing, but... I've seen the one that you've got on your back. Yeah, the big chief. The big chief. And you got that done in Bali, is that right? Uh, correct, yeah. Jeez, you're a bit game, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, getting a tattoo. <laughs> a tattoo in Bali. So where, what was the age that you got your first tattoo? Oh. Um, I was 16. Um, had to get the old man's approval. Um, I thought you were going to say you get the old man to do it for you. Oh, well. And why Bali? If you're ever going to get a tattoo, why do you think, yeah, Bali's a good place to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I like the um, artists there. Um, and, yeah, they do it all freehand, no stenciling and that. And just, I don't know, I've always got most of my tats from Bali. And just um, oh, um, continue to go there, yeah. What about yourself? Any tattoos? Uh, any tattoos for me? No. Nah, I thought about it tattoo. once. I thought about a premiership tattoo um, <laughs> back in 2008. Um, and to be honest, we all said, yeah, let's get a premiership tattoo. And Jared Ruffhead went first and got a hawk on his ankle. And it looked terrible. So we all decided, nah, <laughs> we're not doing it. <laughs> so Ruff is the only one with the premiership tat. Let him be the guinea pig. Well, it just wasn't a proper looking hawk. It looked... Just it looked like a sparrow or a, <laughs> uh, a magpie, not necessarily a hawk. So we thought, nah, do you know what? Ruffy, Ruffy can be the only one that has that tattoo. Move. Oh, oh, that means a corner, corner kick. Here we go. So what's your set play here on a corner kick? Oh, I try and scissor kick. Oh, yeah? Just how, do, how do you do a scissor kick? L, L, um... You didn't teach me that when you were trying to teach me the game. Oh, come on. Come on, ref, blow that whistle. That's twice he's been holding on to my jumper. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Run at him, yeah, why are they not running? Come on, run at him, speed. Here we go. And again, oh. Oh, quick, stop it, stop it. 
charge. Kick. Oh, he's had a shot. He's had a shot. Get in. Oh! <laughs> I probably would have called it a day if that went in. Yeah, that's right. For, from a Richmond point of view, who's gamer? Who's a... Well, from a Richmond point of view, hang on. i just got to not talk through this because... Oh, no. He's gold. Offside, yes. <laughs> Offside. See, no cheating in this game. We've we got to eliminate offside. Oh, look how far offside you are. It's a mile. Oh, oh no. Surely not. It's longer Good than job. that. <laughs> oh! oh turn around. Turn around. Turn, pass it. Pass. Safety. Good play. That's the Ri Richmond philosophy down back. Accidentally get it out of bounds, you know. Ah. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm under attack here. I'm under attack. Just get it out. I'm actually... Where am I? I've just worked out that I was steering with the wrong thing. No wonder I was going nowhere. Oh! Hit the post. What about when it hits the post? It vibrates. Them posts are coming and beating. Hey? That's quite clever. Oh! oh. I'll tell you what, this goalkeeper is unbelievable. He's, he's a superstar. He's easily best on ground. Here we go. We got the scissor kick again. Oh, oh, he just elbowed me in the throat. He's the Newcastle Jets are putting on a show. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's Australian pride. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. So what, what would your coach say at half time to you right now, knowing that you're Tottenham and you're up against the Newcastle Jets, so it's probably 50 ranking points higher. What would he say? Oh, geez, there'd be a lot of swearing and a lot of yelling. And, um, yeah, it'd be something we wouldn't have seen from dinner. It'd be probably 2016 dinner would come back again. <laughs> so it's nil all. Here we go. It's a nail-biter. What's the biggest thing you're most proud of, of from a DIY point of view that you've been able to fix and think, yeah, I did pretty good there? Oh, it's got to be my lawn. Um, I lawn. love my lawn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, my lawn's like my, my number one thing, so... Um, it's going all right, and then my lawnmower that goes with it's my pride and joy, so that'd yeah. be the number one. I don't know. There's something about that satisfaction, especially on a nice, warm day. You cut that lawn, and it's uh, it's being house proud, isn't it? There's something about it. It is, yeah. It's something about that lawn when you cut it. Tomorrow's the day. It's going to get a nice little trim, so it be good. I'm looking forward to it already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and for anyone out there who loves their lawn... What, what advice would Nathan Broad give them if it comes to, uh, you know, not only preparing the grass to, to grow and look good and be nice and green, what, what do you do that other people don't do? Do you fertilise it? Do you, do you water it every fifth day? What, what's the secret? Nah, you've got to fertilise it when the um, seasons change. So, yeah, every season's change, a bit of fertiliser. Yep. Um, regular water, you can't go wrong, mate. Watch it flourish. So when you were playing at the MCG, which is where you want to play football, and that used to be my home ground as well, back uh, when there used to be horse and cart roaming around. Uh, so do you run out there and do you go, rather than taking the crowd, although there's not much of a crowd at the moment, do you look at the grass and go, gee, that grass looks good? Yeah, it's in, especially granny day when you see that nice, fresh <laughs> summer's day. You know, yeah. you've got the patterns in the lawn. I can't quite get the patterns up patterns up and going yet but um that's the next thing i reckon so if you had to do a ranking of um you know the finest lawn for a football field where where would you rank say the mcg adelaide oval and maybe optus stadium in perth well i heard optus stadiums cut with like grass and a little bit of plastic for a life it's been somehow man-made oh um, i don't know what the go is there right okay um, you yeah. can't have that we'll yeah. to... so that'll go can't number be. three so Adelaide Oval, or you've got the MCG. You can't beat the G home ground. <laughs> go, here we go. Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. I'm lost. Oh. I'll tell you what. See, look at the frustration from the coach. Here we go. Oh, no. He's going for the scissor kick. I'll tell you what. I can't get the ball down the other end. Oh. Just don't look at him. Oh. You've hit the post again. My thing keeps vibrating every time it hits a bloody post. Stop. Get at him. Oh. Mate, who is he? Sign him up, I'll tell you what. He's post. <laughs> there you go. I've had a shot. Miss, miss, miss. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there you go. You can tick that off. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Updates about to open, surely. Yeah, for me. Here we go. See if we can get down the other end. Pass. 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 No. Oh, what? Who? What? Push, 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 push. Push. Oh! No! Is it sunny? Oh. Son, son, I've met Son. He's a, he's turned into an absolute genius. Come on. This place on a ring then. Oh, I don't know. I'm doing circle work. Oh no. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Was that Harry Kane? He never celebrates like that, does he? That's quite oh. good. You won't do a dead fish when you kick a goal this year. <laughs> <laughs> out in front no, of no one. You'd do your shoulder doing that. Probably. First game back in front of no one. Yeah, I you, need a kick. You don't want to do that. Fish. No. Son. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, the Knights. I mean, the Jets. I don't even know which team I am. <laughs> the Knights. Well, the Newcastle Knights are the rugby league team, aren't they? Come on, the Jets. What are you doing to me? Get it down the other end. The bloody post again. <laughs> he tried to throw it to the teammate, the commentator says, but he's missed. He's hanging shit on me. <laughs> he could whip it in. Come on. Oh. Oh. He said he was going to celebrate. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't go back there. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. oh no, that's you. <laughs> oh. Pathetic. Oh, no. Here we go. That's game over. That, 2 nil. Oh, congratulations. Well, that's a normal scoreline, really, when it comes to uh, the round ball game. Congratulations. Well done. I was at my very best. I think I was at my very best. Well done. I think we both agree that the man of the match is the goalkeeper for the Newcastle Jets. Yeah, he was best. And those posts on the side there, a couple of beating.